If you ever wondered what a perfect afternoon in Siberia looks like, well this video is going to show you just that. And yes, it includes cows of course. And we drove our bikes to the edge of Lake Baikal to do a little bit of fishing. And speaking about Lake Baikal, people have been asking where is it in my videos. So today we went to the most gorgeous viewpoint, so stay tuned. Well this morning we found out one very important thing. My rod is not for casting. And Xenia was just showing me up this morning. She caught a shuka and a okun, which is a pike and a perch. Good job, Xenia. And uh, so with that being said, we're going to go back home, dress up, and uh, go to Jora, my friend. He has a fishing store. I've shown him in a couple videos, and we're going to buy me a new rod. Hello, my friends. As you can see, the story does not actually begin now. And uh, we're with the bikes. And we're here in Sludanka, as you can see, the cows are obviously behind us. We're making our way to our favorite lake. And you're going to have to see the next clip to understand why this is happening. Well, good morning, guys. Before we even started recording, Xenia caught her first pike, her first chuka. Unbelievable. But he really is small. He's small, but he's, it's amazing. This is your first fish. How do you feel? Very good. All right, let's get it off. There it is. There it goes. <laughs> wow. We were fishing for five minutes. Senna, how do you feel? Very good and very excited. Nice. Amazing. It's not even five o'clock yet. Okay, not even ten minutes later. It looks like Senya caught... What is it? Okun. Okun. That's a, a perch in English. Let's get this one off as well. Amazing. She's on fire. It looks like I'm not even going to get to fish myself. I'm just recording Senya catching all these fish. There it goes. Amazing. Oh my God. And so because of Senya's ability to cast so far and my old rod was just not cutting it well, we bought, well, we bought me a rod, a new fishing rod, and we're going to go fishing now. Let's go down the way. Got the bikes. Say bye to the cows. Bye, cows. <laughs> go to your left a little bit. Don't be scared, just keep going. When I told her not to be scared, I told her not to be scared because I was coming on her right. I didn't expect a cow to turn that corner. So, if you thought I was talking about a cow, leave a comment down below. <laughs> uh, the cow, man, it's like so funny. We live in that type of town. <laughs> yes, that is like a nine-year-old driving a seven-year-old around in the boonies of Siberia. <laughs> oh my god. Those little kids are riding a moped. <laughs> Get up here, let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yay! Be nice. I wanted to take a quick pit stop, guys, because behind us, the water that you see is actually Lake Baikal. And uh, you can see here the trains coming. We're only up here just to show you the, the lake. Our lake is actually like a swamp lake, so we're gonna make our way to it now. Xenia is doing a fantastic job. Let's go! A lot of passenger trains come through this town and I often wonder what are they thinking when they see Lake Baikal? 
What are they thinking when they see me on my bike and my fishing rod? What would you think? Let me know. There's Senya driving on the opposite side of the train tracks. And like I said, Baikal is on the other side. Now, if you're wondering why is there train tracks here? Well, there's a train tracks that hugs the entire, almost the entire Lake Baikal on this side because it goes to Mongolia. We're heading somewhere in that direction. But look at the magnificent views. Well, my friends, we made it to the lake where we prefer to fish. Now, I want to say that a special quest happened as we were riding over here. Xenia got a call from her father, and he said that, uh, what did he say? Uh, he said our friend, uh, she asked about shuka, big shuka for cook, uh, because her husband uh, don't fish for shuka, for a different type of fish, and she won't really want shuka. All right, so we're going to take a fish home if it's big enough to eat uh, unfortunately this woman wanted uh, a shuka so we're gonna take it to her as you can see these are the views here uh, the Russian people call this a swamp but where I come from we call this a lake please comment below let me know if this is a swamp or a lake where you come from I'm gonna fish for maybe two to three hours and uh, try to get a fish for this woman this is my new fishing rod this is the new rod that I got because it should be able to cast a little bit longer. And I'm actually not used to this style, but we're gonna see if we can catch something on it. This is going to be the first cast here on the new rod at our lake. All right, let's see if we can get something. A lot of the times that I'm outside, I'm actually at this lake. I come about four in the morning and I'm just fishing, you know. And this is where I found my freedom. Just not a lot of people fish here, right, Senya? Yes. Yes, they do or no, they don't? They don't. <laughs> exactly. So like, this is a place where you can escape. You can see the scenery, the mountains, all of this beautiful nature. It, I seen it, I seen it grow from nothing. It goes through winter, then it goes into spring and summer, and then back into autumn and winter, and I've seen it all. And so I love this place. And uh, it, it's actually fed us because in the last year we ate a few shuka. And uh, right now we're trying to feed this woman by catching another one. The following videos were brought to you by Xenia. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you enjoy videos of just nature? I could leave the sound on on the next video if you'd like. But if you want to see more of her work, I'll put her Instagram on the screen and you could follow for a more personal experience. Thank you so much. Okay, well, I have some friends that came over on their bikes. So the lady's going to go a little bit hungry because I'm not going to continue sh <laughs> fishing. Um, I'll try this again tomorrow or another day but for the most part the rod feels all right i'm not really convinced about it yet uh, i should have gone with my instinct and uh probably got something different but the good news is we're gonna ride the bikes home on the main road and you're going to see the forest and how nice the road is and the view of sludanka as we come in on bicycles so let's get one last cast in and see the sights We're going through a small place in the village. We're gonna go up that hill and then go down into Sludanka. The views are beautiful. I hope this is recording really well for you guys. Some people still live in these houses right next to my favorite lake. All right, let's get up that hill. On this part, it's a little bit uh, too steep. So as you can see, we have to kind of push the bikes up, but it's not a problem. We're good, almost to the top and then we'll ride down. 
So my friends and Ksenia are waiting. They're on the road for me. And I want to give you the view from the mountain or the hill we're about to go down. The train is passing. There's all those little boats. Those are little boats of people fishing. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. So this is Lake Baikal at the very beginning, at the southern tip. You can truly see how beautiful and picturesque this terrain is, right? And so I'm inviting you guys, if you're ever here during summer, come ride a bike with me. Now, let's go make it down that hill and go into the town. I was so nervous as we were going down this hill. You have no idea. Furthermore, I wasn't sure if I should record the descent because I didn't want to capture anything that would be bad, you know, like I was so scared that something bad was going to happen, but she actually took it very well. Um, that hill is very, very long and it's sometimes very steep and I wasn't sure she was going to be able to control the speed, but as you can see, for the remainder of this video, she really did so good and I am so proud of her. There is moments in the video where you might see her shake a little bit and I was telling her, hey, don't be scared, don't be nervous, but what else can you do, right? Please let me know if you know how to ride a bike or if you've ever tried to learn to ride a bike at an old age. Were you nervous? Okay, Senya, so that was your first attempt at riding on a federal road. How do you feel? I'm really nervous, uh, a little shake, but now I feel good. It was a little fun. Yeah, I think that she did way better. For that being her first time, there was oncoming traffic. You saw in the video, it was really, really scary, but I'm really proud of you. You did really good. Now, we're going to end the video at the monument because we have to pay our respects to the people who served in the great patriotic war and gave everything but first let's say hello to the random town dog and so my friends from our humble small town from the shores of lake baikal thank you so much for joining us on this expedition sorry for the lady who didn't get her shuka goodbye <laughs>